Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. I'm Barbara Walters, and this is 2020. Tonight at 11, remembering Barbara Walters, a trailblazing newswoman, has died at the age of 93. Walters blasted through barrier after barrier, blazing a trail for future generations of women in the media. Walters was the first woman to anchor a network newscast. She interviewed eight U.S. presidents, hundreds of world leaders, and famous celebrities. She anchored 2020 for 25 years. <laughs> And she created and hosted The View. And now with this news reporter, Amy Powell joins us live with an in-depth look at the incredible life and legacy of Barbara Walters. Amy. David, a truly remarkable career. Those who worked closely with Barbara Walters say she never wanted to be called an icon. She thought of herself as a working reporter. She'll be remembered as an outstanding journalist who broke ground in the television industry. We knew Barbara Walters most recently for her work on ABC's The View, holding court for 10 years on the show she created and produced. But she'll be remembered most for her interviews. Must see TV for half a century. You could be sent to prison. Are you scared? Who wouldn't be scared? She had a knack for getting famous people to open up. Sometimes that meant curling up on the couch, having a picnic, or going for an afternoon drive. I hope you're a good driver. You know what you're doing. Whatever the setting, Walters never shied away from asking tough questions. I'm going to ask you a terrible question. Did you ever order anyone killed? Yeah. No. Do you drink too much? Yep. Are you sorry you didn't burn the tapes? Yes, I think so. She'd interviewed every president and first lady since President Nixon. She interviewed Donald Trump as a celebrity mogul later as president. But none of this came without first having to blaze a trail for women in journalism. Walters began as a news writer on The Today Show, the only female writer. Eventually, she became a producer. I was the only female producer with six men. And I would then go out and do certain stories. Those stories marking the beginning of her on-air career, her first big assignment covering the Paris fashion shows. That was my first time that I can remember being on the air. Would you tell me, was this a very trying experience for you? Frank, it was awful. I mean, first of all, every day I had to go and look at fashion shows. Mm. And then I had to have lunch at Maxime's and drink champagne. Mm. And then I had to smell all the perfume at Dior. Walter's quick wit, intelligence, and ease on camera leading her to the anchor desk. Harry Reisner. Barbara Walters. In 1976, history was made when ABC hired her as the first female anchor of a network news program. How big a deal was this? In those days, nobody thought it was possible. Nor did anyone imagine her next job at the primetime news magazine 2020 would last for 25 years. Barbara, I must say it's nice to share the desk with you again. Born in Boston, a shy, bookish girl, Walters graduated from Sarah Lawrence College with a degree in English. In 1968, with her second husband, she had her only child, Jackie. Like so many women, Walters struggled with the balance of career and family. I look back and I think, I wish I had been with her more. I was so busy with a career. It's the, it's the age old problem and, and you know on your deathbed are you going to say I wish I'd spent more time in the office no you'll say I wish I spent more time with my family Walter's sacrifice was our gain she gave us a look at newsmakers in ways we'd never otherwise see she was a chronicler of history a pioneer for women a person you could trust and remember, we're in touch, so you'll be in touch. I'm Barbara Walters. And I'm Hugh Downs. And for all of us here at 2020, you have a good and safe weekend. Good night. She was a role model who paved the way for a lot of people. A former colleague saying every woman in television owes Barbara Walters a debt of gratitude.